Hey everyone, this video is about how to build a covered bridge. For this project I used balsa wood 1 8 inch, laser art roofing shingles, acrylic paint, and plastic canvas number 10. And the tools I used are the chopping board, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, pencil, white glue, and clamps. Having never seen a covered bridge, uh, I decided to go on the net and look for some type of pictures and I ended up finding plans and as you can see there's a there's a top view there's a side view there's even a front view so it made things a little bit easier when I started building knowing exactly what to do so let's get started um, the first thing I I decided to work on was the walls the two side walls so as you can see I did a little diagram first on um, where I should be putting my beams. So I built the frame first and then um, I made a little jig uh, so that it would, instead of gluing every single pieces together one by one I decided to just lay down all of the, the planks and then glue the frame directly on it. Next, I use the same jig to build a, the frame, uh, the bottom frame where the tracks are going to go. So again, it was easier just to lay every piece and then put the frames, put the frame on it. A lot of the parts are not going to be seen uh, because of the walls or the roof. So paying attention to details is not necessarily important at this point but I'm still building it as per the diagram or at least close to it. Now back to the wall, uh, I had to let things dry first. Now we're going to put the, basically make the wall a little bit stronger by putting um, cross, cross beams or um, anyway, those 45 degree uh, angles. A lot of the pieces were, were pre-cut to make things 
easier so I didn't have to cut one piece at a time. So I look at the drawing and made sure that I had all the pieces necessary just to put them together. Now for the truss for the roof, I've built another little jig with the right angles to make it again easier just to assemble. All the pieces were pre-cut. Um, it was easier to do a test first to make sure that the truss was at the right angles and the right length so that way all I had to do is just assemble them. Here I'm assembling the, um, the planks on the roof, so did a few, so all I had to do was glue the truss in place as per my sketch. Here I'm doing the sidings, like the little part that will stick out from the side walls.
this way it was much easier to do because uh, because there's so many little pieces so having them done prior it made it easier just to slip in now of course I did a mistake where I did four of them and all four were identical so uh, two of them wouldn't fit on the right hand side so I just had to redo two more here I'm cutting a strip so I could fit in the plastic canvas piece so the reason for that is the passenger train going through I wanted the people inside the passenger train to be able to see through the window and through the covered bridge I encountered a problem uh, when I took my biggest uh, freight um, and found out that the roof was too low so I had to make an extension to the wall and I found a picture where there was uh, some kind of mesh at the top of the wall so I decided to do the same thing um, and that way I solved the problem of the height. Now back to the track floor, I noticed also that my the track was um, where it was going to lie on the platform was not wide enough for the tracks, so I had to put an extra piece. Now for the front of the covered bridge, I just made sure all my measurements were right, and this is what I was going to do. So I created a jig again um, to be able to build the front walls, well the front and the back. Now back to the roof, I did a little adding where uh, basically this is what's going to hold the side walls. It's just a brace really. Uh, we won't be able to see it uh, since it's under the roof, but it'll make it easier for the walls just to stick. Back to the front overhang, I decided to build a frame all around the, the front piece, that way all the pieces would hold together.
and once dry I would be able to remove the backing which was holding the pieces temporarily and cut out all around the framework. Now all I had to do was add it to the roofing part. I gave it a first coat of paint and now uh, what I'll be doing is giving it uh, some like some type of weathering if you want at the bottom of each wall. This part here shows how I did the aging of the wood, uh, the rotting piece at the bottom of each wall. Here I'm adding the end pieces uh, to the roof. Here I'm assembling the roof with the two walls. Um, maybe I should have done the roof uh, shingles first, but I went, I went ahead with the walls.
Here I'm installing the shingles for the roof, layer by layer. As you can see here, I painted the roof green. The only thing left to do here is I need to weather the outside again um, with pastel. Uh, I also want to darken the inside and uh, basically glue um, also the track base to the covered bridge so that it could be removed in one piece. And here it is in place. Here's what it looks when it's completed. And installed now I can just undo the track and remove the bridge so I can finish the scenery which will be done much much later so hope you enjoy thanks for watching <laughs>